Hey guys, welcome to another weekly portfolio update. So we've had a really green week in stocks this week uh, and crypto. <clears throat> so up 11.9% for the whole stock portfolio. Uh, the crypto portfolio is up 500 bucks, which is three, uh, sorry, 31%, which is huge, but obviously we we're down crazy amounts last week. Um, so kind of got to regain some of that ground. Uh, we're still down from two weeks ago. Um, and yeah, total gain, rather loss on stocks is negative 24,337 or almost 40%, which yes, is huge, huge loss at the moment. Um, net worth is up a little bit this week. And yeah, so remember that 11.9% figure uh, when we look at how the indexes perform this week. So 6.7% on the S&P 500, 8.5% on the NASDAQ, which is a huge move, and 6.5% for the Russell. So these are some huge moves out of the indexes here. Like They're really big moves upwards from the bottom, Like even though obviously we're still down a lot. Like These are some sharp movements in a really short time frame. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting um, to see uh, this kind of movement over a full week period like are we having a fake out or are we potentially seeing like enough stuff priced in that finally the market has to come back up again um, personally I do think there's still more downside ahead because uh, we're probably going to get a few more negative quarters um, and that would put us in a recession uh, it's just seeming like what's going to be likely. Um, obviously, because I know that, everyone else knows that, so it might, might already be priced in, but, you know, I was watching some, I think it was uh, Meet Kevin, I was watching one of his videos, and he was saying about how there's only about a 60 to 70%, or no, around 60% um, likelihood priced into the market, which usually there's like an 80 to 90% um, likelihood of a recession priced into the market before a recession actually happens. So yeah, we could see more downside uh, in terms of pricing in the recession. But I mean, that's also nothing, nothing um, statistical that I'm offering there. Unless you want to go uh, watch Meet Kevin's videos, then uh, I might get a bit more information on that. Um, yeah, looking at my stocks this week and how they performed. So yeah, we've got them all here. This is the portfolio as it is in Yahoo Finance. So I've just populated all my stocks into here. Uh, yeah, still massively destroyed across the board. Like these are some very large downward numbers, but yeah, you can see the day changes here and it was pretty much the same for the whole week. Like everything was pretty positive. Um, and yeah, going into my individual stocks here, 8.6% up for the week on Corsair. 14 and a half, oh sorry, almost 15% on Tattooed Chef, 32% on Palantir, that is crazy, um, yeah, I'm really gutted that I haven't been able to put money in recently, uh, I just, I don't have the money, I recently just had to spend a grand on my investment property, um, needed to do a little bit of landscaping, so it was an area that the weeds were just growing out of control, and like, the rest of the property has been nicely renovated but there's just this one corner that I didn't have time for right at the end of the renovation so yeah just almost finished that now still got to spend another couple hundred on some stones and filling up that area um, so that'll probably be one of my last financial uh, liabilities coming up uh, soon pretty much paid for everything else I need to so money might start flowing into stocks again soon i hope uh, but i'm also changing jobs so i'm getting a pay cut for like four months before i get my pay rise because i'll be under training so yeah hopefully money's going into stocks sometime soon honest also had a beast week up 27.86 percent smile direct club 12 percent fiverr 20 percent and the one that did not follow the trend, 7.7% down on Planet 13. 
So if this kind of trend continues, the rest of the stocks keep going up, uh, and also Planet 13 stays where it is or keeps going down, then it'll probably be Planet 13 that I'm buying because <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's at a it's at a low <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, not quite an all-time low or anything, but uh, it's at <laughs> a long time low, like it's down 83% from highs, all-time highs. Um, yeah, so when my money starts coming through, if this if Planet 13 is still down, might be buying some more Planet 13, uh, especially if these stocks are still up. Uh, also, another thing that is kind of interesting for the week ahead um, because we're coming into the end of the first half of the year and the end of a quarter, um, we're kind of getting to, well, for the US stock market, it's the first half of the year anyway. If you're here in New Zealand, it's uh, we're a bit offset from them. Uh, we're only first quarter into the year from end of financial year. But uh, a lot of portfolio rebalancing is done uh, around... Uh, in ends of periods and stuff or starting starting the next period uh, and I was watching it in again meet Kevin's video um, he was saying that there could be or actually it might have been Jeremy from financial education there might be some rebalancing this coming week uh, due to some larger funds that uh, have a certain weighting that they have to maintain within asset classes and because stocks have been falling so much recently, that means they need to <coughs> sell off some other assets that they have elsewhere and put that money into stocks because they are currently underweight on stocks, meaning they don't have enough money in stocks. Um, which makes sense. Like, logically, uh, they need to do that in order to, like, make their, well, like, what they do, um, like, whatever their policy is, like, we keep, 50% stocks, 50% property, or whatever, something like that, they need to be able to maintain that number. So, yeah. Potentially could see some money flowing into the stock market next week, but then again, I wouldn't consider this to be the bottom or anything, so it's really hard to say uh, where anything's going in the short term, but over the long term, yes, I'm bullish on crypto and stocks and everything. <laughs> bullish on inflation <laughs> um, yeah this is the S&P Ford PE's graph it's got the 500 so the red line is large caps green line is small caps and mid caps is blue and yeah if we zoom in to the most recent <coughs> point plotted in here so this is as of two days ago it's really actually quite hard to see like what's going on here but Regardless of like where exactly we're at in there, we are very low, very low. We're like close to COVID lows in terms of forward PEs for the stock market. Some people would argue that we're going to see some <coughs> earnings misses and uh, a lot of companies adjusting uh, forward earnings downwards. So these might not be the true forward PEs. But yeah, I guess we'll find out over the next coming quarters. Still looks pretty pretty low, low valued. Um, yeah, and crypto obviously went up, which is nice. Uh, it was hitting downwards very far, very fast, so I'm glad that it has come back up. Uh, my mining never reached unprofitability, which is good. <coughs> so I've been able to mine the whole way through. Yeah, uh, although I wasn't making much at the bottom there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for this week's video though, so leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel, and have a great day. See ya.